So this is, again, leveraging that power of social media. And uh, BuilderDude35 has a YouTube channel here that has uh, over 4,000 subscribers. And at this point, his videos have over half a million views, so over 500,000 views. Tutorials and online resources. 
I'm sorry. I told you. No, 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 no. That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we kind of have the same goal of like teaching about this platform and kind of using this platform as a springboard to uh, teach uh, kids our age and younger about the technology. And so, as you've been participating both both in person but then also online, what has been the, the feedback from the users? I know you get lots of comments on your videos, and so yes. what's that sort of interaction? I get like lots of positive feedback, and I'm very happy with it. Like um, a few months ago, back in February, it was um, one example was a, a team in Israel was emailing me, taking the time to write this really nice, well thought out email, thanking me for all of my help with my tutorials and stuff and how uh, with my help and my inspiration they were able to make it to the national championship in Israel and I, I just thought that was really cool and I get tons of emails like that from people all across the world and it's, it's just excellent I feel really humbled every time I hear about how I was able to help a team reach um, like I remember there was um, a guy from Cyprus who was on uh, his FLL team that made it to his national championship and he took the time, the, the time to thank me and um, even today, I think most of the people in this auditorium know who I am, or have at least seen one of my videos. It was pretty funny. Like, everybody's been telling me, yeah, you're famous, and like, oh, okay. And then now I have all these people walking up to me, and they know exactly who I am. I'm going to introduce myself. Hi, I'm Kyle. It's like, yeah, I know who you are. I was like, whoa, take it back. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Can you talk a little bit about the process that you use when uh, actually creating the videos themselves? All right, so um, as you know, as a high school student, my time is pretty limited. So I've, uh, over the course of making the videos, I've been trying to get it more and more efficient. So now what I do is kind of like an assembly line. Uh, I have my introduction uh, and my outro card, which go at the beginning and the end of the video, are same across all of the videos. And at first, what I do um, is I try to get uh, a bunch of tutorials done in one day. I'll set aside one day for that and uh, I'll record all of the intro scenes where it's like, oh hi, I'm Builder 35 and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a wall follower or a uh, color sensor line follower or how to program the gyro sensor and I'll do all of those like titles and then after that I'll get into the meat of the video where it's like either a screencast of the E3 software or um, me explaining how to build it step by step with some photos. And then after that, of course, I use the same exit where um, I say the same thing at the end of the video. It's like, uh, if you found my video helpful, subscribe for more and leave a comment if you have a suggestion. So, Excellent. And, and I noticed a little uh, music in there as well. Where did you get that, that, that sound clips? I, I composed uh, myself because um, uh, another hobby I have outside of robotics is I actually play the double bass in um, a bunch of orchestras outside of school. And so that's a secondary skill that I have that I kind of brought into the tutorials. Because you have to have, everything has to be your own on YouTube. You can't um, necessarily use music from somewhere else, so I just composed it myself. All right. Well, uh, I feel like I need to let you get back to... <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much for coming.